let's talk about uh, aerogel aerogel a is a kind of advanced material and uh, aerogel is basically uh, the latest uh, advanced material and basically the research is just recently started so there is a huge room for uh, this kind of material uh, you might uh, do not know about uh, aerogel uh, but this is such a great and advanced material uh, if you look into the word aerogel so they also call frozen smoke uh, uh, this is just like uh, a smoke you know smoke and when it frozen so you can give the name aerogel basically this aerogel is considered the future construction material so let's consider uh, nowadays we make buildings uh, using some heavy concretes and uh, other materials so if we uh, make it possible that the building can be made from aerogel so the building will be very very light and uh, we will make it uh, so fast so let's first know what is basically aerogel uh, before going into detail uh, let's suppose uh, first know about the gel we everybody knows about the gel uh, like we use on face or some or other purposes gel there is just like a, a flexible material uh, where most of the uh, contents are liquid basically in gel right so now basically uh, if, if we if we look into the gel structure so gel is basically uh, composed of pores uh, in that solid material and the pores are basically filled by liquid if you look here it is, it is actually derived from a solid 3d network gel this is like 3d network gel basically where the pores the holes here are filled uh, by liquid right now how we get aerogel it's very very simple uh, when we remove uh, the the liquid uh, the the water whatever you call the liquid uh, from the pores and fill those pores by air or gas then we give the name aerogel to the resultant material very very simple let me repeat it uh, basically uh, we know about the gel like the 3d structure uh, like the 3d 3, 3d structure aero gel and that gel can, can compose the pores pores mean small small holes and those pores are filled with uh, water or liquid right now when we make it possible by using some methods in the next videos i will explain all the things so when we remove the liquids from the pores and fill those pores with gas or air the resultant uh, material we call aerogel right it's very very simple uh, if you look into the basically uh, aerogel so you will be amazed this is the lightest human made solid known to exist uh, there is no such material uh, the lightest the 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 the, the the solid material i'm not talking about the air or gas this basically aerogel is basically the solid material where 99 percent are made from air or gas means that when we remove all the liquids from the pores of that gel and fill with air so almost 99 percent volume occupied by the pores right so basically this is why it is the lightest human made solid known to exist right look here basically uh, this aerogel is basically a porous solid you see here solid it is not air or something it is solid basically but there are a lot of pores mean pores you know holes like holes pores that is mostly air right so more than 99 percent air is i explain here that aerogel structure is basically composed of 99 percent air and only one percent of that material what kind of material is like i explained like in the first video in the first slide that it is silica so we will explain that the types of aerogels so one one is basically the silica like the same sio2 right 
SiO2. This is basically silica. So we also make aerogel from silica, right? Now, as we as we know, this is the lightest in aerogel is basically most are basically airs because a lot of force. So it will have very, very low density. Look the density. The density is very, very small, almost three times as dense as air. So air, we know, air is nothing. We cannot feel at least some uh, how. But this aerogel is only three times uh, denser as air. For example, if the density of the air is uh, two, so this means that the aerogel density will be six, right? So this is the lightest material. Now let me uh, uh, show you here uh, uh, why uh, this aerogel is uh, important field and so advanced field these days. This is a scopus. Maybe you know about the scopus or not. Uh, this scopus will give you all the information about the material. So I just give aerogel here and let me search. Uh, my system is slow, so sorry about that. Right, when I give the aerogel keyword here, so you will see here uh, 18,235 documents have been published so far. Right, and uh, now you will see here whether this field is growing field or not growing field right so let me analyze the result so when i show you the results so you will be amazed look here this is just uh, showing the publications so this field is very old, old field, but recently it started. It's just start from 2010. You see here. So look, look the the graph here. It's just exponential growth here. Look at how the documents are increasing. You see here. This is why now this is 2022 here, and still you you see here uh, in 2022 here. Uh, it is almost. Uh, 1513 publications so this means that when you are working in some field so you must need to check whether this is a growing field or not growing field so in 2020 21 here you see here this these are the field is very grooming 2000 publication more than in 2022 you see here uh, 1813 so this means that this field is a grooming field right so this was all about the aerogel and uh, this aerogel has a lot of applications and uh, every field uh, we will explain once particularly uh, it can be also used for as an insulating material uh, it can be also used for 3d printing and this was the first video on aerogel and uh, I will make it very very simple and I will explain the types and synthesis and how we prepare everything about aerogel in the coming videos